guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom with my grocery haul. I went to Walmart. This haul was $110, which I thought was really, really good for the amount of items that I got. So I think I'm going to start towards the back and work my way up. First off, I got this towel. I know it's not a grocery item, but I did want to share it because I have gotten a couple of these oversized bath towels at Walmart and they are really good quality. I've gotten this exact like brand and everything. I don't even know what the brand is, but it's, I know it's this exact brand. I can tell from the label. Um, and I got them in a couple other patterns over time and they're really good. Um, especially for the price. They were about $7, I think maybe they were like seven eighty eight, and these are the oversized ones. So I can highly recommend those if you're looking for like an oversized larger towel. They're really good. I got a 12 pack of the Arnold Palmer half and half. This is the half iced tea, half lemonade. Um, and these are a really nice alternative for somebody if you like something sweet, like a sweet tea or a soda. Um, they're not carbonated, but they're really good. I got a big box of the Barilla Jumbo, uh, Barilla Jumbo shells for a stuffed shell recipe this week. Just got some cat treats for the cat, some half and half for a few recipes. I also use this in my son's mac and cheese. I got a few yogurts, which is something I normally don't buy for myself, but I'm trying to get back in the habit of eating breakfast every day. I've kind of gotten off the wagon. So I got apple crisp, I got another apple crisp, and then I also got um, the strawberry. Again, just for quick breakfast things for myself, I might like put a little bit of granola and fruit in with them. I got three cans of the um, Walmart brand Great Value Garbanzo Beans. These are for our new recipe. It is a soup recipe that I'm going to be making probably this weekend. So again, I got three cans of those. I got a big five pound bag of potatoes because I need some of these for the soup and the rest I'm going to use to make another big batch of loaded um, twice baked potatoes. I got some of the rainbow chip frosting, which goes along with the cake batter I got for this to make cupcakes. I got some ricotta cheese for the stuffed shells. I don't really like ricotta cheese, so I'm only gonna use half the amount that it calls for in the stuffed shells. So I got that for the, that recipe. I got some chopped spinach for that recipe as well. Big bunch of bananas for smoothies and for Grady. Got a big thing of parsley for both the soup and the potatoes. Got a big bag of frozen lima beans. I like to throw these in all different kinds of soups as well. I also got a ham steak, half I am going to be using for that soup and the other half I will use in a quiche so I can get two separate meals from that. Our normal white wheat bread, I got a backup bottle of the light or the less sodium soy sauce. It's just a Walmart brand, super cheap. It's like $1.50, I believe. Um, and then I also got a new marinade. This is the Lowry's Hawaiian marinade for some pork that I'm doing this week. Got some of our cheddar twist pretzels. Grady really likes these as well as my husband and I. I got some of the Ruffles cheddar and sour cream chips. These are like one of my guilty pleasure favorite snacks. Although I hate sour cream, for some reason I like the flavor of it in these. Moving back up front, I got a big thing of green onions for the loaded potatoes. I got some of this crumbled. This is like the real crumbled bacon. It's kind of a little shortcut for my twice baked potatoes instead of making real bacon, um, which this is real bacon, it's just crumbled. So I'm gonna use this as a shortcut. I got some beef kabasi sausage for that soup as well. I also got some thick cut pork chops to marinate um, with this marinade that I was sharing with you guys, the Hawaiian one. So I'll do the pork chops in that. Some pepperoni, which is also for that soup, interestingly enough, as well as um, mini pizzas that I make for my son. I got some raspberries. I got some uh, strawberries. They looked really good. They actually changed the label, um, but they looked really good. Three tomatoes, a couple navel oranges, an avocado. I got some multicolored sweet peppers, a big thing of romaine hearts, two Zatarans rice mixes. I got a dirty rice and a red beans and rice. I'll do the red beans and rice with some chicken tacos this week. Also got some pop tarts in the cherry flavor. Here is the cake batter for that, for the cupcakes, along with that frosting that matches. I got some Smucker's chocolate hazelnut uncrustables for my husband's lunches just to switch it up. Gallon of water for the Keurig, our favorite white cranberry strawberry juice, some of the Milano salted caramel cookies, some cheese sticks for my husband's lunches. This is the Parmesan cheddar, some of the Castle Hood chicken breasts for his lunches. 
a box of the Capri Sun Organic Apple Juice Boxes. I have found the cheapest price on these um, Capri Sun Organics is at Walmart um, in comparison to like Target and Publix and I think one other store, Walmart's the cheapest so far. And then lastly, our regular old Tostitos corn chips that we go through like a bag a week. So again, this is my grocery haul for the week. It was $110 and I will share with you guys my meal plan next. Okay, so my meal plan for the week, which is the 2nd of October through the 8th, I actually am filming this randomly on a Friday night because I have been doing, I've been kind of just been thinking about my meal plan for next week um, just because I wanted to make some new things, some different things. So I actually have um, my grocery list portion filled out, which usually I don't fill it out. I use a notebook or I, like a little grocery list pad, but I just decided to use it. Um, it's actually perforated, so it'll tear right off and I can bring this to the grocery store tomorrow. Um, so for the week, one night I'm going to make a new recipe uh, that my friend Sue on my Facebook fan page had given me. I believe it's her recipe. It is a garbanzo bean soup and it just looks delicious. All the ingredients sound delicious and you guys know I love my soup. So if this comes out good and I enjoy it, which I'm pretty sure that I will, I will most likely share a, re um, share a video on this as long as Sue says it's okay since, again, it's her recipe. I don't think she'll mind. Um, so I have a lot of the ingredients here for that soup. Uh, another night I'm going to do bone-in pork chops. We're going to grill them because the temperatures are supposed to finally cool down in the evenings next week. I'm going to do my mom's green beans, which are from my mom's garden that she came here and we blanched and shocked and froze. So I'll pull out some of her green beans and um, steam those up. And I'm also going to try and make a batch of my loaded baked potatoes um, this week and then freeze. I'm probably going to make a double batch because I usually freeze some and then we eat some. I do have a video um, on my loaded baked potatoes, which I will link down in the, the description box below for this video. One night we're going to do roasted sausage with peppers and onions as well as some roasted potatoes. It's kind of a one pan meal. I do the sausage, peppers, onions, and potatoes all in a big baking dish with a little olive oil, some seasonings, and then I roast it. Um, I'm going to use the New York sausage my parents brought up from New York. One night I'm going to do another newish recipe. I've only made this one other time. Um, I actually found it on Pinterest and I wanted to mention I get a lot of my meal planning inspiration from Pinterest even if it's just inspiration. So even if I see a pin on Pinterest that maybe it interests me but I want to make my own version of it, Pinterest is really great just for inspiration. If you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, I'm just Grady's mom and in my cooking um my I have like a folder for just my um, recipes like that I that I pin and I think it has almost 2,000 recipes the name of the folder is I don't eat to live I live to eat in case you want to follow me on Pinterest because again that's where I get a lot of my inspiration so I'm going to do that um, recipe again from Pinterest it's a sausage and spinach stuffed shell recipe and I'm just going to make a simple toss salad on the side Another night we are going to do chicken tacos with Spanish rice and sliced avocado. Nothing fancy here guys. I just do uh, chicken in the crock pot, just chicken breast with some taco seasoning, a little bit of water. Just let it go all day and then I just take two forks and shred it up just like pulled pork but it's kind of like pulled chicken but it cooks in that taco seasoning and then I just put that right in taco shells with lettuce, tomato and cheese and some taco sauce. So just like your regular beef tacos but I just use shredded chicken. Spanish rice, I usually just use a boxed mix. Just being honest, I usually just make like a boxed mix and then I add some diced tomatoes. And then I'm also going to get an avocado or two just to slice them up with some salt and pepper. One night we're going to do chicken wings in our air fryer. I do have a full review on my air fryer in which I do demo how to do the chicken wings in there. So if you're interested in either the chicken wings in the air fryer or the air fryer in general, I will link that video below as well. I'm also going to do my stuffed um, jalapenos. This day here is sun. This particular meal here is going to be Sunday, which is football um, 
day slash night in our home during football season. Um, so I'm going to do, again, chicken wings in the air fryer, stuffed jalapenos. I do have videos on this as well as the jalapenos. Again, I'll link it down below. And then I'm just going to do some simple nachos in the oven. I just lay some tortilla chips with cheese and jalapenos and bake it all in the oven. And we dip it in a little bit of salsa. Just really simple kind of football food. And then one night I allotted for leftovers or breakfast, whatever I have, which will probably be either this soup or one of these two things. So more than likely, it's going to be a leftover night over breakfast. Again, here is my grocery list that I'm just going to tear off and take with me to the grocery store. I do also have a video on this planner. It is a Carry Al meal planner. So all these videos and all these things that I'm mentioning, if you're interested in any of them, I will have them all linked in the description box down below. Hope you guys enjoy the haul and the meal plan. Have a great day, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.